welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do uh, and, and share with you our chalk stories collection. And so one of our chalk story collections uh, is the Feathered Friends collection. And so we're going to just be doing one part of the Feathered Friends collection. However, I want to show you the different transfers that we have. So I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way. So the one that we're going to be doing today, put that up there. So the one that we'll be doing today, this one is called Feathered Friends Collection Rustic Birdhouse. So it's the Rustic Birdhouse and we're going to be doing that on um, a piece of wood that I've painted and distressed today. We also have the Birds and Branch and it says gather. And then the last one we have is bless our nest, which is really cute too, I really love it. And of course, me, uh, my last name being Bird, I absolutely love this collection, so of course I had to buy this collection. And so just a brief description of the Chalk Stories. So I'm just gonna read it right here. So Chalk Stories introduction. Tell your story your way. Each transfer design in this chalk stories collection can be used independently or in any combination allowing you to complete several custom projects for a look that is uniquely yours so then and then it gives you like a few different steps of what you can do um, and again like I said um, in my previous videos there's always instructions on how to use all the transfers and that so I'm gonna put these two aside so we won't be working with that, but I'm going to take this one out. And so we're going to, I'm going to just prep, do number one, number two. And um, this will be a layered technique on what um, on how we're going to do this today. So number one and number. And the reason why I type on or I print something on the back is so I know which transfer goes on which backing. And we're gonna just cut this in half. We'll put that aside and I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. So I have a few of these. So all I did um, to get the pegs, so what I'm going to do once we have those, I'm going to stick some pegs with some hot glue onto those little dots there. And I'm going to paint, so I just got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, and so it's just like a little fake bird. Well, it's a clip. And so we have three dowels there. And we're just going to cut one more. And then just lightly give them a sanding. And we'll just give this little bird paint up some paint.
Okay, so we're gonna bring this here. So what I did with this board is just a regular one foot board um, and I painted it and I distressed it and I put some water on it just to make it look old because I feel like that's the look this should be going on because this is already a distressed um, this is already a distressed transfer. There we go. Almost lost my words there for a second. And the colors that I'm going to be using today, uh, so for the actual birdhouse, I'm going to be using our bright white chalkology paste. And then for the accents, I'm going to use um, Storm. And so I'm going to grab my fuzzing cloth here. We'll get fuzzing this. So I, I wanted to um, just thank you for, if you're returning to my channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate you returning. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please hit that bell um, or hit that subscribe button. And uh, make sure you hit the bell so then you don't miss every time I upload a video, which is every Monday. And so if you are already following me, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. And I hope uh, to hear your comments down below too. Like, let me know what you think. Um, I'd like, I always like to know what everybody is thinking uh, and what your thoughts are on the project. And if you want to make this project yourself, I have all the links posted below for you and you'll be able to make this project on your own and you can find it through all of the links. So I think that's pretty straight. Okay, so we're gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my small, my small squeegee, dip it into some of my bright white paste and just chalk it on. I really think this would look really cute in um, a front foyer when you first come in and if you do like if you incorporate some of the other transfers like bless our nest I think that would look really really cute in a front foyer I haven't decided where I'm gonna put this yet in my house because my foyer is a little bit um, odd, so you can't really put much in my foyer. Okay, so now we're gonna just peel this up. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna blow dry this a little bit. So what I did forget to show you were, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but there's like these little tiny um, crosses or, you know, whatever they're called. Um, and this is so it makes layering easier, but I didn't, I didn't place them on with the other one and I, and that's okay. Like I'm used to not, not doing that. They're just really sticky. But something like this too is, is kind of easier to layer as well because you can kind of see and guide yourself with the other transfer. Sometimes you really need these to guide you and what you can do on some projects you can just kind of put some tape down in that area and then once you're done your project you can just 
take the tape right off. So here we go. Okay, and now I'm just gonna grab our mini squeegee and some storm and just do the accent pieces. And there you go. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now with these, I don't know. I think they're a little bit long. I'm going to cut them a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue gun. And where do I want to put... I think I want to put the bird down here. So this one is, I think I made this one a little bit longer. you're curious what type of glue gun I'm using I will post that as well in the description below okay Maybe I have to put them here. So here is our final project. I hope you all enjoyed today's project, our Feathered Friends collection. And I will post the links down below. So if you're interested in making your own project like this, you can definitely go to my link below and uh, take a look at all we have to offer. So thank you so much to, for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy my video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I subscribe or no, I don't subscribe. <laughs> I post um, videos once a week on Mondays. And if, uh, if you really enjoyed my video today, then uh, make sure you hit the bell. So you know when I'm, I've uploaded a new video and you don't miss out on any of my videos. So again, I really hope you enjoyed today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you so much for returning if this is your not your first time um, here at my channel. And I just wanted to leave you with a little quote of the day. And that's, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. So I hope you're all enjoying your day and we will see you soon. Bye for now.